Hi guys, I know it's been a while since my last video. Um, I recently had a friend that asked me to start doing more. Um, he specifically wanted to do like learning how to draw people and stuff. So I thought I'd do some gesture drawing ones, kind of different from like that referencing images. This is a little bit different since the uh, gesture drawing is more about like capturing the image quickly, not necessarily about the accuracy. Um, I actually made a recording earlier, so this is the images from, but the recording didn't save. Um, it's my first time trying to record anything on my iPad Pro, so I'm like still just new to the iPad Pro itself too. Um, before I get into the video, I'm going to quickly go over quick poses. Um, that's my favorite site for doing images with gesture drawing, since there's a little timer on there. Um, the only thing I'd warn, if you're uncomfortable with nudity, there is nudity on there. So the images that I pulled today um, are from that site. It's just handpicked so that YouTube wouldn't get angry at me. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the same image that I had before. Um, just like quickly get down the form and just like being completely loose. Yesterday wrong is like mostly focused on being quick. Um, I am pretty warmed up for my drawings earlier. I'll pop those in later on in the video, like the drawings I have. Um, as you can see, I kind of like lined up the hand and the knee, like in the images, those are almost lined up against each other. Um, so like, as I said, like, it's more about getting the pose down, but you can still like try to be accurate, like, seeing how things line up helps. Um, you don't have to be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get every detail of the fold and <laughs> the close him. It's a little too much. As I, as I get the pose in, that's when I start going back and in and adding in all the details. Um, like my person's hat, head is a little big. That's, as I said, it's more about the pose than getting all the details. As you can tell, I can still tell exactly what he's doing. He's about to pitch out a ball. Or whatever your <laughs> the accurate baseball term is. I apologize, I'm not actually like a sports person. I don't know all the terms and stuff. So, apologies to anybody sitting at home going like, this is not right, she does not know anything. It's very true, I do not know anything about sports. Start getting details of the closing, just so you can actually tell that he is a baseball player. That's not quite necessary, but I feel like for the pose, <laughs> it's, it's kind of like necessary to go back in, get all that detail. When I start adding in shadows, it helps um, give you an idea of depth, which is which leg is more forward, and which one's uh, more in the back. And you kind of see that with his right arm as well. I kind of just like made it a shadow. I didn't actually even like give it a proper th thick line. Um, thicker lines are usually used for something that's closer to you. So these little details like kind of help give you spatial awareness with, like, what is going on with this character. <laughs> also, apologies, I am terrible at these, these voiceovers. I'm recording this later on. Um, I'm never quite sure what to say during these, and... I... <laughs> I'm just awkward in general. I honestly will say that I don't do as much gesture drawing as I probably should. I do some here and there, but it's really a great way to like warm up before you're doing like a full on drawing just to help loosen you up. As well as like thinking of like creative poses you could do if you're drawing, if you're not using any references, like if you're making a comic or something. There's a lot of like action-y poses out there that can like give you inspiration on how to pose your characters. And I feel like my art, like I took a life drawing class in college. I feel like my art after that class felt like a lot more lifelike. And it just really adds something else to your art when you like keep up that habit. Like my art is like becomes stiff if I don't do it every once in a while. I probably should do it more as I said. I 
will say, like, one of the nice things about doing my just drawing digitally compared to, like, my life drawing class is that I can go back and everything was needed a lot easier. So when I was doing my life drawing class, we did everything, like, with charcoal. So when they have need to erase stuff, eventually it just became a smudged mess. Um, it's not completely necessary because it's just for drawing. It's all less loose and messy anyway. Um, <laughs> but if you're a little bit of a perfectionist, I think it's a lot nicer to do it on a computer. That way, on the end of the day, you don't have like this super stressed out mess. Anyway, that's one of the drawings. Um, I'm gonna do another drawing in a second. Just to, like, show you like a more complicated image. Um, I'm gonna quickly go over some of the uh, images that I did before that were a lot like, quicker and looser. I'll probably have to repost them at the end because on my screen they kind of like are a little choppy looking when they pop up. I kind of flip through them pretty quickly. So I completely apologize for that. So this is one of the puzzles that's a lot more complicated. There's a lot more movement. The pose in general is a lot more difficult. So it's kind of like has her arms and herself, her leg. Yeah, I start off with a bunch of lines. I'm just, in general, measuring things out and deciding, like, where does this go? Okay, like, making shapes of her body. Before I go into any actual detail. And kind of, like, measure that chin to the shoulder. Show that the hand is past the head. Um, yeah, start slowly blocking things out more. Putting the other hand next to the ear. And also, hands and gesture drawing. I'm very loose about how I draw the fingers. Um, hands in general are a little tricky. Since there's like so many fingers, they can just end up awkward, so I kind of just let them do their own thing. And I put in the hair, it's not necessary to always have the hair in, but I feel like the hair helps imply the movement better. It's just, I think it makes it a lot more interesting to do that. But as I said, that's like a personal preference thing. You could be like, I hate hair, never include hair in my, in my drawings. To be honest, I hate drawing feet, so I usually just draw a little diamond for them. Um, so it's kind of like hands, but like <laughs> a lot less detail. If you know it's there, or make it a different, like, to it as being different from the legs, so you can tell it apart. Just adding all the shadows in, getting that depth in, and just so. It's a lot easier to tell what is going on here of all of these lines. Make it a little less crazy. a quick, more complicated pose there. Sorry, I didn't talk as much. I don't really have much to say. I hope these help. I'm going to add in the, the other images real quick. <laughs> 